Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today I'm coming to you with an interesting tutorial and that is on how to create a thumbnail in Adobe Premiere Pro. So a lot of times Premiere Pro is used to create online content and that online content has these things called thumbnails, which is the thing that you view before you click on the video. Well, the best way to create this stuff is through a photo editor like Photoshop. But if you don't have that program and, or if you haven't learned it because it's a completely different beast than the rest of the Adobe programs, then it can be hard to create thumbnails. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be showing you how to create some thumbnails in Adobe Premiere Pro. It's actually pretty simple to do and you can just throw it into your workflow and just get, you know, get going. So let's get started. First thing you need to do is you need to just find the piece of footage. So like, let's say you've made an edit. You've got this video in it. You've got a hundred other videos, but you want this to be your thumbnail. So what you do is you can actually come into here and find the spot that you want to use as your thumbnail. So let's say that we wanted it to be right here. We can go right here and then go up to this little button right here, this export frame. If it's not here, you can go up to the plus the button editor and you can find the export frame button right there and just click and drag it on and it'll drop it right into here. And you see it just moves mine. And so you can move it where you want it. I'll put mine where it usually is, which is right there. Click OK. And now once you click on this button, it's gonna ask you a place to save it. So you can save it anywhere you want, browse to a location that you want, give it a name like thumbnail background, like so, and then just click okay. And you wanna also click this button down here that says import into project. That's going to make it so that it imports it directly back into the project. Now, so we don't mess up our edit, what we're gonna do is we're going to create ourselves a new sequence. You can hit control N to do this or up to file, new, and then sequence. Once you click on that, anything will work. Uh, you want something that was the same dimensions as this. The frame rate and things like that don't really matter. So we're gonna click okay. And then we're going to take our thumbnail background and we'll drag it right into here. And so now what we have is we have this base plate that we can sort of design stuff around. So we can go up and a popular thing to do is add a border. A popular thing to do is create a circle, uh, create arrows. You can do all of that with just some of the tools in here. So for example, we could do the circle where you like circle a part of the thumbnail. This is sort of like gets a little bit into the clickbaity sort of area, but that's if that's what you want to go for, sure, this is how you do it. If you click on this circle and you drag it over any point in here, what we can do is then we can control the stroke. We don't want to fill. We want only the stroke, so uncheck the fill, go to the stroke, give it a color, usually red works good for this. So if we go down to the red, and then give it a stroke that sort of fits. So like maybe right there, that looks pretty good. And then now what we wanna do is maybe we wanna create an arrow for this. So what we can do is we can go into the pen tool, and we kinda gotta have a little bit of a, a good, you know, bit of drawing here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go like this, here, here, and then they usually go in, back, back, and then sort of like right there, or you might need to zoom in for this. To do that, we can like bring it up to 200%, and then scroll to it, and scroll up, move back to it. And you see this isn't the easiest, and that's why you'd like use a photo editor. But if you don't have a photo editor, photo editor then this might be a good option. So now you have this arrow, created and now what you can do is you can actually add a fill to this and if we go back into fit you'll see that we have this this arrow although a little bit offside like a uh, sort of weird looking we still we still have some control over it and we can still create a thumbnail i mean thumbnails don't need to be anywhere close to perfect and so now we have this this thing pointing here like a lot of thumbnails do we could add some text over this so maybe we wanted to go make it really big draw out a text box and put like boating mishaps sure um, and then we can highlight this and fill it with any color that we want. Let's make it go like, uh, maybe fit the red color as the rest of this is going. Bring it up so it fits up here. And then now the last thing we can do is we can add a border to it if we want. So uh, zoom this out, maybe not 10%, but maybe like 25%. Hold this down to the rectangle tool and then just go up to the top left here and just drag out one that fits the composition right like so. And then we just only want the stroke of this and we want to adjust this just slightly so that it fits onto the edges right here. And so now that it fits on the edges, we can you know make it as big of a border as we want. Maybe we want the red right about there. But we can use all of these tools, all these graphics tools, any way that we want to create the sort of thumbnail that we want. Like I said, this is a, still a video editor, so you won't be able to do 100% of the things that you can in a photo editor, but you, sh still, you should still be able to do a lot, and you should be able to create some neat thumbnails from this. So once you've created your thumbnail, you're gonna do the exact same thing that you did 
to get the background image in here. You're gonna find a point where they're all like this. You can see that they're all sort of all over the place. So make sure that they're all turned on down this line. And then you're just going to export it by clicking this button. And this is now important where you save it because this is the one you're going to upload. So if you see, maybe it'll go in this folder right here, cover images, Premiere Pro scaling, click okay, click export. And now we can go find that. It should be under cover images and then Premiere Pro scaling like I had last time. And you'll see that this is where I kept the Premiere Pro scaling uh, one right here. But there is my thumbnail ready to upload onto YouTube or Vimeo or any of those other platforms. And that's how you do it. It's it's pretty simple process. Like I said, you won't have the exact amount of power that you have in the other ones, but you won't have to learn Photoshop or you know another photo editor to do this. You can do it all within Premiere pretty quickly and get some decent looking thumbnails going. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and throw them in the comment section below or our website at adobemasters.net. If you want to see more videos similar to this one, go into that subscribe button and make a video every other day on Adobe related products. And until next time guys, see ya.